Hi guys, so in this video we're gonna be talking about Drift Protocol. It's uh, according to them the number one perpetual DEX on Solana, trade on chain with up to 20x leverage. So um, why we're gonna be using this and why we're talking about this in the first place is because they've already hinted that they ng sila ng tokenomics uh, to be released soon, which means that there's going to be a potential airdrop. And so if you want to get, you know, a little piece of that or be eligible, then you want to be using their uh, their app, their protocol, and make sure na active kayo doon. If not active, then, you know, like personally, ako, uh, marami akong accounts na handle. And so, uh, how I do this, makikita natin later. Papakita ko sa inyo. So, um, make sure to follow their Twitter and also pumasok kayo sa Discord para mag updated kayo sa kung anong mga meron. Make sure din na pagka sinelect niyo itong Drift Protocol, you are following the right account because merong mga ganitong klaseng accounts na sobrang scam, so make sure that you're safe. Alright, so let's go. Um, we're here in the uh, Drift Protocol platform and you can see here that meron akong actually deposit dito. Medyo matagal na akong nag-deposit uh, just because I wanna see or get a feel of how to use their products and services. And so what you wanna do is to add Actually, dito ka magsisimula talaga. You're gonna have to connect your wallet and then afterwards, um, magde-deposit kayo ng mga assets niyo. So you can have like all these assets available for you to deposit. Uh, USDC, SOL, and all that stuff. Ako personally, I deposited SOL, USDC, and finally, PITH. Um, hindi na ako nag-deposit ng GITO at saka ng, ng kung ano pa. But basically, ayun lang. And once you deposit that, you just select this one. Uh, do note that they're going to be taking a 0.22 um, fee, rent. Pero itong fee na to, pagka let's say, clean notes mo yung account, ibabalik naman sa account mo or sa wallet mo. So that's pretty cool. Just select wallet and then there you can deposit kung ano yung meron sa wallet mo. So right now, I have around 2.45. I want to be adding into that. So, teka. Uh, let me just check. Okay, I'm just going to harvest some yields and then from there, uh, magde-deposit na ako ng ating additional USDC or probably sold uh, dun sa ating protocol. Mas gusto ko yung USDC kasi mas natatrack ko siya kasi medyo volatile kasi si, ano, si Solana. So, dito muna tayo. Alright. Just confirm that. And then, balik tayo sa so, drift. <coughs> Ayan. So, meron na tayong mga 50 USDC. Uh, let's just add around $20 and then um, I'm not gonna create an account na lang. I'm just gonna be depositing, withdrawing to the main account. Um, and then, from here, dito na tayo maglalaro ng konti. So, deposit tayo. And there's also, um, so, may iba't ibang accounts dito. You wanna be uh, exposed to all these other um, products and services. So, here, yung pinaka-fastest talaga na pwede mong gawin is itong swap. Alright? Itong swap feature na to. So, from your main account, ayan, pumasok na rin yung ating uh, pera. Actually, kanina nag-ano ako, nag-swap na rin ako ng $50. So, um, yung $50 na yan, halimbawa, na floating dito sa account na to, pwede ko i-swap for Solana. And so, here, I'm going to just select swap. And then, from here, ayan, I'll have to, ayan, okay, mukhang check natin na kung pumasok yung transaction. But basically, ayun lang, just try to use all these other products. Kahit isang swap or uh, every day mag-swap kayo lang, siguro take $1 lang. Just for the sake of using that platform, pwede nyo gawin yun. So, ayan. Lumabas na ba? Ayan. So, swap successful, andito na siya. And yung sol natin, andito na sa account natin. Now, uh, you wanna go to the other uh, products that they have. You have Lend and Borrow. Now, when you deposit into your account, automatically, nagle-lend ka na. Alright? So, mag-deposit ka dyan, nag-earn na yung account mo ng something. And, syempre, pagka, let's say, nakapag-lend ka, pwede ka rin mag-borrow ng assets. Pero, you can only probably lend around 50% of uh, your assets. Ako, personally, what I do is I just lend out itong mga stables. I don't lend out itong mga, let's say, Solana, with BTC, Tyth, and Gito because they're very... I would say volatile and ano, delikado kasi pwede ka maliquidate for example kung hindi ka marunong um, and so 
yeah, just to be safe, just to be on the safe side, make sure na yung health nitong account mo is 50%. Don't borrow more than, uh, you know, don't j- just don't borrow a lot. Siguro kung mag-borrow ka mga one-fourth or one-third ng account mo, pwedeng ganun. Alright, don't uh, borrow too much. Now, um, yung pinaka nagiging strategy ko dito is itong DLP. Alright, pwede ka naman mag-insurance once taking ito din. Like, lahat, as in lahat, kung kaya mo, uh, stake ka dito. Ako, ito, nag-stake ako ng, ano ba? Nag-stake ba ako dito? <laughs> Alam ko, meron akong ano, may mga assets akong stake dito sa uh, insurance fund vaults. Feeling ko dito ako nag-stake eh, sa USDC vault. Check natin ah. Ayan, so may mga $50 yata ako na nilagay. And, you know, kasi unstake yan. Oh. Sa stake, ayan, mga 27 yung pwede ko i-stake dito. But, uh, that's in my wallet naman. Uh, we have here uh, spot at saka perpetuals. So here, ang gusto ko dito sa uh, perpetuals is that you can actually do limit orders. So, for example, you are anticipating, oy, sol, babagsak ng mga 64, ganyan. So, punta ka sa uh, limit price, 64, and then put ano yung size na gusto mo. So, pwede kang mag-leverage or what, and then you can trade uh, from that. Pero, at the moment kasi walang, um, ang tawag nito, wala akong mga open positions at the moment, hindi rin ako nag-deposit dito sa account na to. So, uh, yeah. Hindi, hindi ko to ginagawa dito. <laughs> nag, ano ako, sa, sa Sol Casino ako nag, nag-trade. And anyway, um, ano ba yung technique ko for the, ito, ito, punta na tayo sa DLP. So, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na activity and syempre deposits, your assets being the protocol for a long time. And also if you, let's say, um, you know, the longer your assets are there or the longer that your activity is there, then, syempre, mas malaki yung mga points sa mararakap mo. That's usually the case for uh, for points farming for possible uh, airdrops. Now, makikita nyo dito iba't ibang mga assets na pwede nyo paglagyan. And here, you can create that account. Siguro sa simula, it's gonna ask you to create an account um, dito as a liquidity provider, sub-account yan. So, paano ba? Yan, sub account and then pagka nagawa niyo yan lalabas naman yung uh, this one for this pero basically they they're gonna ask you to create account for for this specific one now if i'm gonna go here pag natapos mo yan like here i'm gonna go to drift liquidity provider uh, you can i think i added here $200 na nagsisimula ako uh, i mean i started with $200 and you can add liquidity here now make sure that when you like, ang pinaka-goal natin dito, guys, is to just farm points. We're not here para kumita. Kung kumita tayo, great. If hindi, then I guess, well, that, that's that, you know? And so, you wanna look for potential, ano ba yung mga pwede dito na paglagyan? So, for example, um, ano ba yung mga trending? Uh, let's say, itong si ETH, hindi pa ako naglagay. Kung pwede, lagyan nyo lahat, pero... Uh, konti lang siguro like pwede nyo ilagay leverage and then just put like very small amount ah yan lagyan natin ng 90 or wait as in very small size lang just for the sake of having activity here so what happens is you know you're providing liquidity into these assets and then um, ginagamit yung collateral mo yung SDC mo na pang trade nitong ano uh, para makapag-leverage yung mga tao dun sa mga gusto nilang uh, let's say for example yung mga nagle-leverage dito na trade right perpetuals so dito nang gagaling yun uh, we're depositing yung USDC para pang gamitin nila pang, pang leverage nila syempre kung nalugi sila dun uh, kikita tayo but anyway here we're just gonna be adding um, into these uh, smaller accounts so sobrang konti lang dapat lagay natin ganyan mga 16-20 dollars um, just for the sake of having more activity dito sa sa platform nila. So yan, TIA, lagyan din natin yan. Okay, sobrang konti lang, guys. So make sure na hindi ano, ay wag niyo max kasi maliliquidate kay dito. Sobrang GG niya dito if ever gagawin yan. Ito si link try natin. Oh, pag add pa ba tayo? Oh, we have reached the maximum number of per positions. Ah, 8 pala for a single user account. Oh, that's why. Okay, sige. So, mukhang nagawa nila ng paraan para less risk for people. 
Um, but anyways, ayun guys, basically that's it. That's that's how I'm doing things. Uh, just go to earn and then go to DLP. Uh, once you have that sub account, and dito tayo sa drift. Yan, liquidity provider. And then from here, ayun, 232 na. Galing. Um, so makikita nyo dito. Makikita nyo naman dito guys yung mga ano. Yung mga positions ninyo if you go to, I think it's in overview. Yeah. You'd be able to see here yung positions. Yan. So ano yung mga uh, positions? Naka long ba siya? Naka short? At the moment, naka short halos lahat eh. Um, but again, this is really not for uh, for making money. My goal here is to just um, farm those points by having this activity. So even if, let's say, wala akong masyado ginagawa, uh, if I don't visit this, then it's still doing, you know, this one. So automatic naman to na nagko-close uh, ng kusa. Ayan, so for example, itong si Render. Dapat naka-close na to eh. But anyways, nahayaan ko na lang Again, objective tayo. Nandito tayo para sa airdrop. Like, and magsusunog tayo ng $200. That's it. That's my goal. Kung kumita, goods. Kung hindi, well, you know, that's life. Pero, yan. Ababawi tayo sa airdrop. Ayun, um, I'm just gonna link you guys itong for my referral if you wanna use that as well. Baka mamaya, you know, it's gonna be benefiting both of us if you use that. So, ayun lang. Um, hopefully, this could help you guys uh, with that airdrop strategy. See you and happy farming.